Across America, the First Baptist Church of Sutherland Springs came together for the first time since a gunman killed 26 members of their congregation. CBS News correspondent Weijia Zhang has a story. Crowds of mourners made their way to Sutherland Springs on Sunday. A week earlier, the town was the scene of the worst mass shooting in Texas history. 26 men, women, and children gunned down as they worshiped inside First Baptist Church. They were remembered at an overflowing Sunday service held in a tent. I know everyone who gave their life that day, some of which were my best friends, one my daughter. Among those in attendance was Texas Senator John Cornyn, who said he was struck by the resilience the community has shown. To see Pastor Pomeroy and his wife there having lost their 14-year-old daughter and to hear his inspirational words, I saw him standing there at the front of the church comforting others, and he lost his 14-year-old daughter. It's remarkable. The church itself reopened on Sunday, having undergone a dramatic transformation. Its interior has been painted completely white. The victims are represented by 26 chairs, each with a single red rose on it. Since the shooting, people have been gathering at a roadside shrine near the scene of the crime. On Sunday, one visitor said he was there to celebrate the living as well as grieve the dead. They don't stand alone. Something like this can tear one individual up, but it doesn't tear up a family, it doesn't tear up the, the whole, and that's why we're here. The victims of the shooting began to be laid to rest this weekend, including four who were buried on Sunday. Funerals for the rest will take place throughout the week. Weijia Jang, CBS News, Washington.